Yo, we're back with the Shane Helms segment with his favorite guest, Shane Helms. What up, Shane? Boom. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Y'all, y'all missed me last week, man. I missed you guys, man. I got to be honest. Uh, 1,000%. Uh, yeah, it's going it, to... We've been doing this thing week after week for how many weeks now? Well, what, what, what show number is this? 136. One, wow. One, 136. Yeah, man. And not... A, not only that, bro, I'm going to miss talk, uh, talking UFC with you, talking boxing and uh, movie ratings. You can't hear you, Disco. Well, I'm about to ch- I- That's fine. I don't got no problems with that. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, unfortunately. I got a question. I got a question. Shane, did you ask them if you could continue to do this? You're just assuming that you can't. No, it's not an assuming that I can or anything. It's just scheduling is going to be tough. I mean, Monday and Tuesdays, I'm swamped. And if there's I anything do a live on this crew, that this crew has responded, that this crew, that I, I'm, I'm trying to answer the question that you asked. So once again, we barely ended my segment, and I already <laughs> got to tell you to shut the hell up. <laughs> Go ahead. What <laughs> else is new? It's just gonna be. T- it's just gonna be tough to get the timing down. You know, uh, like I just landed just now back in North Carolina. It's, you know, it's five twelve. You know, so the schedule is gonna be tough. That's all. So you're there. And I probably would get my. I probably would get myself in trouble. <laughs> right, as as you've mentioned quite a few times, this show could be a public <laughs> relations nightmare. Right. <laughs> For um, sure. Uh, That's the beauty so, of it, though. So are you? Are you? Obviously, you're working SmackDown and Raw both. Yeah. Oh, for some reason, I thought the agents were different on both shows. All right. I no, that seems like that's. I think that's going to be the plan going forward because when they when they do the Fox deal, there's going to be you know SmackDown is going to be filmed live on Friday night, so that's going to be a they're going to have a totally different crew on Friday and uh, Monday. Right. Do you know where you'll end up or not yet? Uh, I don't know yet. All right. Um. So, how's it been over there, bro? It's good. Yeah. I mean, like uh, it's probably a little easier for me than some of the other guys because I know so many people there, so I gotta you know. Uh, and you know, I did the agenting thing before, so it's not completely new. There's a little bit, a little bit more moving parts here, of course. You know, it's right. a bigger production, so there's a couple, you know, more people that you got, got to discuss things with. But, um, and you know, I mean, too, like I, I watch, I still watch the product, so like I know a lot of the guys' stuff, what they do. And right. So I, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee any problems. It's, it's been fun. The catering's so, better for sure, one thousand percent. Oh, bro, that's awesome! Every time I go there, <laughs> that place is just ridiculous. <laughs> what match? So you're you're a, you're just and you agent the matches, right? Yeah. Pretty what matches did you have this week? Uh, last last night I had uh, Randy Orton and Mustafa Ali, and two were shadowing the agent. So we're like there to learn the process. So I wasn't the only one. It was me and T.J. Wilson, and um. Hey, last week I had Kurt Angle and Baron Corbin, and then you know the main event, which was uh, Baron and Drew against uh, Kurt and Braun Strowman. So you know, I had, I, had I gave I gave night. those matches I gave those matches negative stars. The only matches that I are thought negative, were stars negative stars are matches that you're in because you're not a star. And the and the and the and the, and the various botcha manias that, that popped up that he keeps trying to put the blame on Ban Hammer, and he tries to put the blame on the other guy. AJ Styles in one of them. Botches. They're not even my botches. How do you, yeah, they're yours. How You're many part of it. Do you think you've been David Young, in? The, the David Young one, as soon as I hit him with the clothes, like he blocks it. As the second I turn around, we've done this spot a million times. He's supposed to late swipe me and trip me behind, well, with my back to him. Okay, and he keep didn't pull the trigger. Okay, so that is and the and the one where Van Hammer he went the wrong way on the neck breaker. What about AJ You're, Styles with the uh, chart buster? Uh, he went too soon. Yeah. I did it. I did a, a, a slight microsecond misstep because I twisted my ankle when I when I stepped and just went up. Oh, what a coincidence! You're he, just an uncoordinated, and this is a very he, white word. Oh, <laughs> that's true. AJ went too soon on the chart buster. He did. He didn't. He didn't wait for. You're in there. You're in there working a world class talent like what? Van Hammer, What's and you're going to blame it on him. It's right. all on him. it's all right there for everyone to see. We saw it. I mean, if he starts he going down before he drop on the chart buster, whose fault is that? Look, the best the best move that you've come out with is when you put that turkey head on. That's been the best move that you've hey, come out with. Did you see that I'm going to do a uh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like the fact that they're putting you over like you're a big deal. Dane, <laughs> o'clock Eastern on Friday. Impact is having me do the uh the the, the presser on the phone. <laughs> They're having you do what? <laughs> the you know the, the the conference call, the media conference call. The, yeah. They're they're having me on. I'm gonna get like, some I'm, media I'm the one credentials. Taking, <laughs> I'm the one doing the media conference call for Impact this Friday. 
How low has that gone? Yeah. <clears throat> has that fallen? Bro, listen to this. It. I'm going to steal the show. I'm going to draw big numbers and high ratings. Let me He's see. going to be the only one on the show. He's going to be talking to himself. We're gonna, you know what? We're gonna have another Shane. We're gonna have a Shane Helms segment. We're gonna continue the Shane Helms segment every week. We're just gonna bury Shane Helms for five minutes every week on this show. That that's what I, that that's what I'm thinking that we do going forward. Um, Shane, who uh, who hired? What the, the the actual hiring? Who hired you? Well, I was you know I was, I was being uh, I was going to be brought into the PC anyway. Okay, so I, I'd already agreed there. to go to, to grow down there, and I was going to. I mean, and the only negative to that deal was I was going to have to live in uh, Orlando for a little bit. And you know, but of course, the grand, the grand goal being to be a road, a road agent anyway on the main roster. That was the goal. But I was going to have to go through the PC to do it. But they just decided, you know, that when they needed more personnel, that I, I just had to, I got to leapfrog that process. So yeah, why would I, you? I mean, it wasn't really a tough decision to make. I mean, come on. So like you don't got you, 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 you definitely uh, obviously know how to agent. I mean, it's not like you had to go down there to learn, any, learn anything else, you know? No, but they needed coaches down there too, so you would be a. Uh, while you're learning the aging process, you, I was going to be a coach, which they do need. And I was fine with that because I enjoyed that as well. Like I said, the only negative would be living there, and that's only because of you know being away from my my family. You know, if, if I was a single guy, it wouldn't have been yeah. no issue. I'd have been down there the second the conversation started. Right. When the phone hung up, I would have been gone. You know, right. but uh, yo, Shane. Now, let me ask you this. I don't, now I don't have to leave. Look, Go ahead. Let me, let me ask you this. So, like, so. You've been you watch the show every once in a while, like you follow follow it with us. You know, we, we don't watch it that much. So you, you but, but you've kept abreast of their product, and you like myself or Connor, all of us probably have like seen things from some guys that w- when we've been just on the others, you know, we haven't been working there. We've seen things from guys that are like, hey, if I ever went to work there, I would want to like I I'd tell this guy this, like here's some advice and stuff. Have you dropped any knowledge on people that you've seen? Where like you you thought like hey I want, I'd like to work with this guy like hey and like gave any gave any advice out on stuff that you've seen him do. Oh yeah, from day one. That's from day I'm one. Who who did you uh who were you the most interested like who who are you the most like who are you most attracted to to work with there? I'm not talking about like obviously that's attraction, but like when you got there, were like wow I get, um I'd, I'd like to work with this guy and now I've gotten to know him better like how how like uh how's that process work? I don't know if there's one specific talent you know I definitely uh, I'm a fan of the Mustafa Ali guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I see a lot of potential when they could do with him. And just like anybody I haven't worked with before, I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to working with new people. So, you know, just to getting to learn how they think is, you know, that's, that's, and it's not even a real hurdle. It's just part of the deal. You got to learn how guys think and what they like. And, um, cause the, you know, one of the things about being an agent is sometimes you got to learn to put on the gas. Sometimes you got to learn to pump the brakes with, 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 you know, depending on how talented the person is, you know, sometimes if, if you got like, you know, a match with Kurt Angle, or like you know, I had a match with Kurt, and I think uh, Austin in TNA one time. Like, I, I didn't really have to offer a lot. I think there was one tweak in the you know in the finishing sequence that I gave them, and you know they used. But other than that, you know, like all right, these guys, these guys can handle their business. You know what I mean? And some guys, you, you know, you can't be that free with them. Some guys, you got to kind of walk through. But I don't see, a, I don't foresee a lot of that up here. You know. Shane. And two, there's a much more micromanaged, you know, professional approach up here. It isn't quite as uh, wild west. Yeah, Shane, do you, um, two things. The first one is, I didn't know T.J. Wilson was an agent. Who are the agents right now? Um, well, of course, you got Michael Hayes. Is uh, you know, Michael Hayes is a guy. Road Dog is a guy. Um, Would they be known as head agents, or aren't they writers? Uh, both. Both. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, TJ, uh, Jamie Noble, uh, of course they brought in myself, Sanjay, Davari, uh, mm-hmm. Jeff Jarrett. Right. Abyss, what's Abyss uh, doing? I, he hasn't been there the first two weeks that I've been there. Okay. Is everything okay? So I mean, he'll is be. Everything he'll are, be is everything he'll be, okay? I think, I think, is everything all right? Are you sure? Yeah, I think he. Are you sure? Yeah, is yeah, everything okay? <laughs> you're not mad at me, are you? <laughs> are you? You're not mad, are you? Are you bad? You're not mad, Adam, sure. are you? So it gets everything okay, though, right? <laughs> you sure? Everything's okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. He, might, he might be on screen, though. I mean, I don't know, but wouldn't you think they would use him as a Might character? as well. They need some big guys, yeah. you know? I mean, bro, honestly. Uh, yeah, I mean, you could, just, you could, just, just depends on what is what is physical, right. where he's at physically, you know? Yeah. Because he's kind of banged up, you know? He he's can been, still get out there and go, but he's been banged up for a while. Yeah. Mm. But I think he would kind of get over yeah. just because they haven't had anything like him in a while, like a gimmick guy like that. You know what I'm saying? If he comes out with the mask and he yeah. does that, you know. So 
basically do you guys do you go there you have like a production meeting they tell you what you want to do and you just go and tell the boys what what the office wants correct yeah all right all right now i just was wondering if they did it together yeah i was just wondering if they did it a different way but no no i think that's generally been how it's been done yeah i mean back in the day you really didn't even add an agent you just had somebody walk up there and tell you who you You finish Um, right or you're finished and that was it (laughs) that was it but it's just incredible to me because there's and this is what I'm sure you're running into too, Shane. There's so many people now that get into the business much quicker than before, and a lot of them with a lot less experience. That it's it's really mind blowing to me how many people just are young to the game, and there's just no way you're gonna learn in two or three or four years what somebody, you know, that's been in the business for ten years is gonna learn. And there's just so so many things that that um that they're not aware of and that you have to really teach them. Yeah. I mean, nothing teaches experience but experience, you know? Right. I mean, if if, if, if watching it made everybody a really good pro wrestler, then all the fans would be great pro wrestlers that have watched it their whole life. You know, watching it, you know, you de- to me, I definitely still watch everything. And it's, it's strange to me when I see talents that don't. And, you know, because I, I look at it too, I look at re- watching it, to me, not always just for the entertainment purposes, but I look at it like Tom Brady studying tapes. I need right. to keep up with what's going on in the business. I want to see what's working. And I pay attention to what the fans are reacting to and then figure out why they're reacting to it, you know? I mean, like, you, you know, if you look at how Becky Lynch has got over, you know, and I'm always fascinated when somebody gets over like that and it wasn't necessarily a grand design, you know what I mean? This organic, you know, Billy Kidman being a perfect example in WCW of how he came up, you know, from, you know, goofy job guy to member of the flock that never got anything in, just got beat up all the time. Then all of a sudden he started getting a few spots in and he started recognizing, hey man, this kid's got skills. Then he started winning a few matches here and there. And then, I mean, and Billy got over his hell in that So I'm, I'm really, I've always been fascinated with stuff like that and, and what works for certain people. So that's one of the reasons I still watch a lot. And when I hear guys like, yeah, yeah, I'm just, you know, I don't watch it for whatever reasons. I'm like, man, you, you got to keep up with, with your industry. Uh, right. If you're not, it's going to pass you by. Right. Well, and quickly too. Yeah, because, because one of the things that everybody talks about is that fans change. Well, if right. you don't notice that they're changing, and if you don't try to figure out why they're changing, then you're not going to understand, and it's going to be hard for you to adapt to that change. So, n- w- with the contract that you have right now with WWE, can you do like indie shows internationally and public appearances and shit like that, or no? You can't do anything unless it's under the their umbrella. Um, no, they're going to let me finish everything I've done. And I got like 20 to 25 dates that I had already agreed to anyway. So um, I get to do all of that. That's going to be pretty hectic, you know, because uh, I'm going to have to go do an indie show on Saturday, fly home Sunday morning, and then Sunday night fly out. So it's going to be pretty pretty rough the next couple months, you know. But that's kind of has been... That kind of has been a change in their philosophy. They never used to do that. Like once you started with them, you had to cancel all your dates. And it seems they've been a little bit more uh, flexible with that. Yeah, yeah, they, I mean, that's exactly what they said. No, whatever you've agreed to, we're not going to take anything away. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, yeah, that's super cool. all right, my brother. So, what can I tell you except it's been incredible to have you on this show for 136 episodes? Uh, and, um, you're part of this family and I want you to keep coming back anytime that you can, you know, we'll, we'll hit you up from time to time to see if you can come on the show and talk about whether if it's UFC, a good movie, a good wrestling angle or anything. That sounds good, man. Yeah, I'm down. I'm still down. Like I, I said, know. the main thing for me is going to be just that schedule. You know? Right. That's going to well, be the main thing. So. Well, we'll make sure we tell you a week ahead of time so we can uh, fix it accordingly. Any last right, words, Di? Good, uh, no, I just want to play the the sound bite of the Vince Man. You're fired. <laughs> God, <man. laughs> That's right. That's true, man. This. All right, Shane. Nothing but love for you and the Empress, and uh, the best to you. And we'll be in touch. All right, sounds good, man. You guys keep on keeping in the hundred. <laughs>